Oh my god, boys. I've made a mistake. What's up, sexy Sam Lander squad? My mistake is assuming that Hebo is open and nobody was going to pick it. And then he picked it, and now I'm on Quaver's Hebo. Ooh, that's a yikes for me. That's a yikes for me, dog. But you know what? You know what? <clears throat> if he never uses his abilities, I could win, man. I could still win. Now, if he does use his abilities, we're in a little bit more of a pickle. I'll admit. Now we still got this. We still got this, though. No worries. I just got to go. Uh, I just got to go. Uh, do I go auto attack here or do I go ability based? I mean, I guarantee, I guarantee go uh, telekines. That's just not even a question. I definitely go mannequins. That's not even a question. I think I go book and I get the big ass shield. That's probably the best call here, right? Just go book and I get that huge shield. I think that's the best call because here's the thing, right? He's going to out damage me, period. Just how it is because he's Hebo. So I need to find out a way to live a little bit longer to get an extra rotation of abilities out. And if I can do that, we're pogging. Oh, he warded me. All right, just eat the mannequins. Get shit on by mannequins. Perfect. Literally perfect. One auto there will kill. One auto here will kill. <clears throat> um, he's giving me red, which I really didn't expect. My damage is pretty good. Now with red buff, he definitely should be a little bit scared of just straight up dying to me. But maybe he's just super alpha Chad. Doesn't care too much. Yeah, he has the cooldown thing, so his damage to buffs is not good. It's definitely not as good as mine. So he's gonna be uh He's gonna be hurt in early game. My goal is to hurt him all game. <laughs> Not just early. That's okay. Anyways, in the other video, uh, well, I mean, yeah, in the other video where I was accidentally muted for a portion of it, <clears throat> I was talking about all the games I played on PS5 and all the games I was super excited for. Also, I mentioned, by the way, if you don't know, Every single subscriber I get for the entirety of 2022 is 10 cents towards a charity per subscriber. So every 1,000 subscribers, I donate $100 to charity. And it's throughout the entire year of 2022. So, you know, hopefully we get 100,000 subscribers. I donate 10 grand to charity. That would be sick. But anyways, I was talking about um, the games I played. And I played 14 hours pretty much straight. Spider-Man once I got my PS5 which is crazy I don't think I've done that with any game in a while other than smite during a 24-hour stream Shoot the three never mind get hit by the three and act like it didn't matter because it didn't they do so much damage to you you better alt away no oh he actually almost died to that I'm just straight up not scared of you. Yeah. I didn't have to shell. I didn't have to shell. I thought I had I thought I had to shell. And I did shell, but I didn't have to. I thought that all was gonna hit me way harder. But to be fair, he doesn't have any items that, you know, help him do damage. And I don't really like I'm pretty tanky. Because <clears throat> I'm Zonque. I have a like just with my bag being full, I have 77 protection of physical and 75 magical protection, so... I'm really tanky. His ult only hit me for 300. Which isn't even... That's not even a quarter of my health. No, no, it is a quarter of my health. I lied. But it's not even a third of my health. Evo ult has to do like 70% of someone's HP or you're in trouble. Look for 
the ones who are wandering alone. All right, I want red buff. Don't come over here. If you do, tell your mom. You don't want me to tell your mom. Nice. Also, something that's really, really good in this matchup that I just realized is when I'm alting, I'm knockup immune, right? Which means I don't Your think... I don't think he wins a fight if I'm alting. Okay. That's pretty much all of his confirm. Oh, you're dead here, bro. Oh, nice play. Nice play. I cannot be mad at that. That was a good play. That was a nice knockup. He used my momentum against me to knock me up further away while he juked back the other direction. Uh, like, there's sometimes when you just got to recognize a nice play and be like, you know what? I, you know, I can't be mad at it. You outplayed me. Good shit. Good shit, my guy. Don't do it again. Because I, I would like to kill you next time. But, I mean, that was good. Holy crap. Zonkwe does so much damage. It's actually stupid. He almost takes none, too. Hello? Look at that. Just my one. My one and two auto attacks. He's half HP. I'm going to use my 1-2 combo here to heal up a little bit. Because I did take a little bit of damage. Not enough to be super concerned, but I'll heal it up. Why not? But his clear is not perfect, which is great for me. I'm not going to kill here. I'm just going to poke him. Oh, but I will kill. I will kill. Yeah, okay. He had to ult that. He came up a little bit too close. He came up just a little bit too close and had to ult away. Uh, I could corner him, but only if I get my 1-up. If I don't get my 1-up in time, I can't kill. When I do get my 1-up in time. Okay, we can definitely kill here then. 100% we kill here. He has no ult. He can't get away. Insane corner. Hit him with the Sam the Dude corner. Got the kill. Got the tower. Got the wave. <laughs> Did we get the wave? Yeah, got the wave. We'll go get this little XP over here. And man, even though I'm fighting a Hebo, I feel super confident. Like just incredibly confident in this match right now. Which is bad news bears for him. Also, I'm going to go Blink. Uh, the reasoning behind Blink and not Aegis. Obviously, Aegis might save my life eventually. Because... <coughs> Sorry. Because his alt does big numbies. Um, but... Blink... Because I'm so far ahead right now... I think Blink gives me the option to be incredibly aggressive. And that's what I want... Out of my relic at the moment. Oh my god. Look at that. My one... My one and one auto attack did 80% of his HP. My damage is outlandish. Could probably just go do Bull Demon. I don't think he, there's a world in where he can stop me, right? Yeah, I mean, look at that DPS, dude. Holy... Cool guys don't look at explosions. Cool guys do not look at explosions. His game plan there was to try to poke me out. Basically using his carpet to be slow immune. To go in and out of combat. And uh, poke me out until I couldn't actually pressure him. Unfortunately for him. I did get blink instead of Aegis. 
Yeah. So my, uh, like I said before, my, my aggression is insane right now. My damage just in general is nuts. All right, that'll clear that. We'll just run back over here, get some XP, do my blue buff, stuff like that. Uh, I could go Shoguns. I'm actually thinking about going Shoguns for my defensive item here. Obviously, the items I want in this game, they're, they, I mean, the build builds itself, really. Shoguns is really good because I get the attack speed that I want. I already have Telekines, so I don't need more damage. Fucking Telekines damage is, you know, it's already there. Um, <clears throat> So I want Shoguns and Bulwark. Double defense, obviously we're against Hebo. That's kind of canon. Um, so we want Shoguns for the attack speed, Bulwark for the shield, and then we want to go uh, Book of the Dead for another shield on top of our Bulwark. And that'll basically, that's all six items we have. And then we'll upgrade our mannequins to Mannequin's Mace. And that's our full build. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, like I said, I, I don't even really have to build it. The build kind of finishes itself. Uh, you are going to have to alt probably. No, not alting. That's fine. I'm pretty tanky, so I'm I'm okay to just sit here and do some damage. A lot of damage, actually. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds on my blink, and I can actually kill him. Kill here for sure. I'll clear the wave. Why not? Just in case I get a little bit uh. A little bit too sporadic with my movement and end up dying. I don't know what that is. That's pr I, I assume it's a wing blade because it's the only thing that really makes sense. But the thing is, you don't need a wing blade. You're already slow immune on your two. So wing blade is kind of kind of irrelevant. But you know, so be it. Um. I think I'm so far ahead right now. I'm going to go for the Book of the Dead right now, and then I'll go Shoguns. Because, I, I mean, I could have started... I could have gone Shoguns here, and then Book of the Dead here. Like, done it differently. It would have been safer. But I think because I'm so far ahead, four levels ahead, you know, like... 2,400 gold ahead. <clears throat> I think it's better to just get the damage online. And I have 516 power. There's no way he lives through a combo if I get to him. If I blink on him and stun him, he dies. No matter what. I'm pretty sure he dies. Unless he has beads now. He doesn't. Okay, he's ulting here, 100%. Alright, let's just re-get Phoenix real quick. Dude, my damage is so nuts. And that's gonna be that's gonna be game. That's a that's a 11 minute game, 13 minute recording. Zonkwe versus Hebo. I mean, Zonkwe. I've always, I've always said he's underrated. People don't play him enough. People don't respect him enough. Um, you know, if you've ever been to my stream and asked what underrated god there is, I always say Zonkwe. Uh, he's just so good. And I don't know. Kind of proved it. One, love you. <laughs> GG's kick a gamer. But yeah, I, I've always said he's underrated and he's very good. Um but yeah. That's the end of the video. Uh hold on one second. Ending vid. Uh that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really just proving that Zong Kuei is underrated and he is one of the best gods in duel. Uh he's very, very strong. And yeah. Make sure to subscribe. A subscription to me is basically a donation to charity uh, for this year. <clears throat> you can't write it off, though. <laughs> um, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys.